The shadow of the last nightfall of 1994 moves across the land as cities and towns light up to welcome a new year. The wave of celebration sweeps westward across the time zones, over the mountains, and there below, the wondrous glow of the million shimmering lights of Las Vegas. This is the entertainment capital's biggest night of the year, and you are about to experience America's grandest countdown spectacular. Tonight, live by satellite, the brilliant sky shows, enchanting performances, dazzling entertainment, and all the best on this magical night as Tots celebrates New Year's live. Now, from Treasure Island, the adventure resort in the heart of the Las Vegas Strip, here are your hosts, Sarah Purcell and Jack Perkins. Hi there, and welcome to New Year's Live. This is the night we've been waiting for, Sarah, and what a wonderful array of festivities we have for you on this New Year's Eve, folks. We have the sights and the sounds, the dazzling events from across this nation on this night of celebration. We'll have all the terrific action right here from Buccaneer Bay at Treasure Island, and we'll have cameras positioned all up and down the strip and in the ballrooms and showrooms. And we'll be bringing you live celebrations from all around the West. And not just the West, of course. We'll be covering all four of the continental time zones. We'll be bringing you a record total of 10 cities all together. You know, Sarah, there is a very special sense of midnight magic in the air around here tonight. And when we approach that hour, folks, you have never seen a more thrilling countdown spectacular as you'll see here in a little less than an hour from now. Well, let's check in with some of our locations right now, Jack. Let's do that. First up, Seattle, yep. where they will be celebrating this new year at the symbol of that city, the Seattle Space Needle. Ross Schaefer is there. Ross? Hi, Jack. Ross. Jack and Sarah. Hi. How are you guys? We are so jazzed here in Seattle because, as you know, the weather can be very unpredictable. It is clear. It is 30 degrees and clear. We're going to see an amazing pyrotechnic display tonight. The first time a Seattle Space Needle has ever been lit up and fired. 600 feet of fireworks. We've had fireworks in the city before, but that was uh, last year when the Mariners won a baseball game. So we're going to have a great time, and we'll bring it all to you live. Let's go to Terry McGovern in San Francisco. Hey, thank you, Ross. We are live from the Embarcadero Center in San Francisco. A bit of a rain coming down, as you can see, but we have a lots of party for you. We've got 14,000 people in attendance. We have got about eight blocks of party called the Big Block Party, oddly enough. <laughs> and, <there's, laughs> and we are going to have the biggest, baddest disco you have seen since John Travolta was a pup. It's all ahead on New Year's Live. Now let's go to Reno and Bob Tolman, Bobby. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. Howdy, everybody. I'm Bob Tolman. It's rodeo time in Reno, Nevada right now. What I want you to know is, is that we paid out $40,000 in prize money in the Buck and Ball Rodeo right here tonight in the Reno Events Livestock Center. It has been phenomenal. The Smokin' Armadillas Band, uh, the uh, Miller Gibson Band is on right now. We had a wonderful rodeo. These are uh, all my family. That's the way it is. Let's go to Howie in Los Angeles right now. All right, we're here outside of BB King's Club at City Walk, and boy, I know you're thinking, singing the blues for New Year's. We here at the Kevorki Network pull out all the stops. Come with me, these guys. Get out of here. Papa Chubby Bear, we're going to bring you them in a second up there. A lot of rumors, Stones, Pearl Jam, Kurt Cobain, and Nirvana. I'm not saying anything, I just heard it. Look at this guy, huh? This is Robert. And I'll tell you something, Robert. How you doing, man? We got five seconds, so uh, what do you got? Watch this now. Gonna take the torch, put it on the counter. Robert works during the week stuck in the White House, I think. Sarah and Jack, back to you. <laughs> Thank you, Howie Gold. Now, don't oversell here. Now, virtually every major star has performed here in Las Vegas, from Barbara Streisand to Paul McCartney. But none shine brighter than Siegfried and Roy. Musical extravaganza also has been magic at the box office, playing to sold-out audiences ever since it opened at the Mirage. 
It's a dazzling $30 million production, the most expensive theatrical attraction ever staged. Showcasing spectacular illusions, many featuring Siegfried and Roy's famed collection of exotic animals, including a black leopard, a lion, an elephant, a snow leopard, and of course, their family of royal white tigers. Oh. How do they do that? I don't know, but we're going to have more coming up from Siegfried and Roy's show. And later, I'm going to visit with one of their royal white tigers myself. Was I envy you. I envy you. Are you sure it wasn't your idea? <laughs> now let's go to the Treasure Island Ballroom where an invitation-only event is in full swing and Ricky Cheese is there. Ricky? Thank you very much, Sarah and Jack. Yes, we are here at Carnival in the Treasure Island Ballroom. It is an invitation-only event. 650 folks from across the nation, Mexico and Canada, are here enjoying a gourmet meal. And they've got their party uh, masks all ready for the big celebration. And they're all ready to party. This is a great room. You can look all around. You can see it's just a riot of incredible color that really captures the tropical feeling and spirit of Carnival. And up on stage is Lula and Afro Brazil, one of the bands that are really helping get this mood going here tonight. We're going to have lots more fun coming to you from Carnival, so you stay tuned for that. Now, back to you and more of the action on the Las Vegas Strip, Sarah and Jack. Thanks, Ricky. The internationally acclaimed Cirque du Soleil performs nightly right here at Treasure Island, and Emerald Ye is there tonight to give us a glimpse of their unique performing style. Emerald? Sarah, this has got to be one of the most enchanting and wondrous shows on earth. This particular Cirque du Soleil performance is called Mystère. It is unlike any circus you've ever seen, and the only way I can describe it is it's like a voyage of fantasy and mystery with some unbelievable acts. In fact, it's going on right behind me, so why don't you come this way, and let's take a peek and see what the sellout audience of 1,500 is watching right now. Sort of a bungee ballet and then at three minutes before midnight the countdown begins right here when they'll be striking a giant gong on the Cirque du Soleil stage so we'll see you then back to Jack and Sarah thank you Emerald the striking of that gong will get us going for the final countdown but right now out on the strip or as a matter of fact above the strip we have a camera up in a crane to give us a bird's eye view of all the action on what Las, Las Vegas is expecting to be its busiest night ever. Up there on our crane cam is daredevil Doug McConnell. Doug! <laughs> well, Jack, that's right. Listen, this is the bird's eye view, the best place to see all of the action here on the Las Vegas Strip tonight. And there is a lot of action out here. By midnight, we're expecting a quarter of a million people out here, a record-breaking crowd. And already the folks are streaming out of these mega resorts to line the Strip five miles long. They're out on the street now. They're noisy. They're having a really good time. The street has already begun to be closed off here. I want to point out, by the way, one of the new uh, features here on the Strip, the Treasure Island sign over there in the background. It's 160 feet high. Those uh, cross sword blades there, each one is bigger than a Greyhound bus. And right below that is a three-story high electronic marquee. That is going to be the uh, Countdown, official countdown here for New Year's Live. So the big crowd will be joining in as we get close to midnight. And so now, as the crowd builds, the excitement builds, we'll be back with more live updates here. You won't miss any of the action from the Las Vegas Strip on New Year's Live. Coming up, Sherry Belafonte takes you inside the most lavish party in Las Vegas. Plus, a preview of our thrilling countdown. Across the country and across the time zones, America's watching New Year's Live. Here is an interesting fact. This year, for the first time, Las Vegas became the nation's number one tourist destination. Amazing. Yeah. About 29 million visitors here. And way surpassed all of the predictions. And it seems like they're all out here tonight because Las Vegas is sold out. Every room. 
every show and every party, okay? And one of the events that's impossible to get into is the exclusive party in the Grand Ballroom of the Mirage Hotel, right up the strip. Now, but our New Year's live cameras are there tonight at the lavish High Rollers event, and so is none other than television personality, Sherry Belafonte. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Jack. How are you doing out there? Oh, fine, Sherry. Yes, well, you, we are. You are missing an event in here. It is so elegant. It is so fabulous. We don't even have anything like this on Lifestyles. Well, I was going to say, you're the co-host of Lifestyles with Robin Leach, That's and right. you've met so many fascinating people, and you've gone to some of the best events ever. How and does this tonight's event compare this to you? definitely compares with all of them. There's over 1,600 people here from all over the world. There are 9,000 roses that were flown in from Ecuador that are gracing all the tables and around the place. 3,000 pounds of linen, just to give you the kind of <laughs> statistics that we've got going over here in this part of the world. <laughs> So it is to the party. Did you know that? And and oh, but you, but so far, Sherry, I haven't heard anything. No shameless. invitation has been shoved under my door. Oh, you mean you didn't know? You're supposed to be here with us, Sarah. I am. That's right. We've been waiting for you. Thanks, Sherry. <laughs> I knew I could count on you, girlfriend. Absolutely. <laughs> Just tell them you know me at the door. Okay. <laughs> So long, Jack. Yeah, okay. Like, so long. Bye, Jack. Thanks for not inviting me, Sherry. <laughs> Goodbye, go Sarah. Have a good time. <laughs> Folks, up in the great Northwest, Ross Schaefer of KIRO TV is standing by with the crowd at the Space Needle celebration in good weather tonight, Ross. Oh, Jack, it is unbelievable weather. Uh, we, it is going to be crystal clear. It's about 35 degrees, and I'm standing here. As you can see, the Space Needle here behind me is going to turn into the world's largest Roman candle as 1,500 charges go off to music from uh, the Terminator, from Tchaikovsky, uh, from Beethoven's side. It's going to be spectacular. Now, I'm here, and there are about six or 7,000 people behind me in what we call a mural amphitheater, and they will go nuts at the, at the uh, sound of midnight. I must say that for those of you watching now and have seen the uh, Space Needle, you probably won't notice it in movies. Parallax View with Warren Beatty. And if you saw the movie, it happened at the World's Fair with Elvis. That was also shot up there. What happened at the World's Fair? Elvis got indigestion, of course. And there are parties from $95 to $1,000 a seat going on up there. We're going to bring it all to you live tonight. All right, Bob Tallman and Reno, are you there? Howdy everybody, Bob Tolman. We're in Reno, Nevada. We're live at the Buck and Ball Rodeo. This is the biggest thing that happens in New Year's Eve. We're talking about champion cowboys from all across the United States and Australia. The bareback riding champion. Rocky Stego, Clovis, California, bareback champion. Here from North Dakota, Todd. Todd Hipsack, Brookings, South Dakota, Saddle Bronc riding champion. And the international star. I'm from Australia and I won the bull riding. And your name is? Rodney Leadgott. We got to tell them how it is. A $40,000 purse tonight, this is the way it was. There are 7,000 people behind me, and this is the way the rodeo happens. It's a family show. They call it the Bucking Ball Rodeo, and nothing else in the world is like it. I hope you're loving it in Reno. <laughs> okay, Bob, thank you very much. Now, folks, I'd like to reintroduce you to an old friend from last year's New Year's Live, the man who brought that pulse-quickening play-by-play call of our midnight countdown to us. At our countdown control, award-winning sportscaster Jim Hill. All right, Jack, thank you very much, and hello, everybody. Now, this is Treasure Island's Race and Sports Book, the place where every type of sporting event is usually displayed on the video walls behind me. But tonight, well, this is what we call Countdown Control. Filling those huge screens tonight behind me are the satellite images from all of our New Year's Live remote locations, and every one of those locations will have precisely synchronized parts to play in our second-by-second -second final countdown to 1995. Our thrill pack spectacular begins three minutes before the magical midnight moment, so stand by for some of the most exciting minutes of the television year exclusively on New Year's Live. We'll go live to the hottest club in Los Angeles, plus the biggest party in San Francisco and the Sky Show at Seattle Space Needle, all on New Year's Live. This is the historic clock tower on San Francisco's Ferry Building. This will be the focus of their New Year's moment for the thousands gathered there as midnight approaches on New Year's Live. And right now here in Las Vegas, a special guest steps in to uh, offer greetings as we offer them to you, Kenny Rogers. Thank you very much. That was exciting. 
Oh, the, it, it, it's been an exciting evening, as it always is here, and, and I hope you are having a good New Year's Eve. I'm having a wonderful time. You know, where better to be than Las Vegas? It's the, the excitement capital of the world, isn't it? Well, you helped make it so, sir. Thank you so much. We're, we're grateful to you for stopping by, and we wish you the best, uh, best of all in the new year. And I to you, Jack, and to everyone watching. They have a happy new year. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. The old gambler here in Las Vegas. And now, if we may, we're going to take you to Los Angeles, to the Universal City Walk. That's a new entertainment promenade right near the Universal City Studios Hollywood theme park. And standing by for us there from KCAL TV is a very strange man named Howie Gold. Are we on? Okay. Uh, we're here outside. It's really hard for me to hear because I'm also trying to coach the defense with this. So follow me. We're going into BB King's Club. My old stomping grounds. They used to call me the Blues Master General. Come right this way. How you doing? Happy New Year. How you doing? Let me show you the Wall of Fame in here. Follow me. Look at her. My guys here, what's going on? A couple of my idols right here. Eric Clapton on the wall. Come down right this way. Buddy Guy, and I should have been opening for the Stones. We got into a little tip. Excuse me one second, how are you? There's a business shot of me in my heyday. I think my heyday was right around March 13th, if I'm not mistaken. Some of my big blues songs were, I got my ass kicked yesterday. Uh, my chick dumped me, although really I broke up with her. Uh, and a lot of other songs that I'm sure you remember. Papa Chubby's on stage right now. And we're going to toss over to Ron and Terry McGovern in flagship. Oh, Howie, Howie, Howie. We got the party. We got the place right here. Embarcadero Center. It is the big block party in San Francisco's Embarcadero Center. Guess what? The biggest, baddest disco party you have seen since John Travolta wore this suit. God help him. John Travolta made a comeback. Hey, guess who's never been away? Miss Thelma Houston. Yes. Hey. Thelma, how Happy are you? Happy New Year. I'm very good. You look so good. Oh, thank you. I've been a fan for a long time since Don't Leave Me This Way and right on through. What's going on with disco? It's still alive. It's alive, and I love that it. it's still alive. I always knew that it was alive. Well, you are. You, it makes you feel too good. You are the first lady of disco. You realize that, don't you? And you got a lot of fans thank here you. all over the country tuning Happy in here. Happy New Year. And I've had the thrill of a lifetime here. The last day of 1994, I'm going to jump in with 14,000 people, eight city blocks, and I'm and I'm going to jam with Thelma Houston. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Get out of my way. Get out of my way, please. Are you ready? Woo! Woo! Yes! Ah! Woo! Well, this is the use party here at Treasure Island's Carnival Party is one. The folks here will never forget. You see the mood, the dancers on the uh, dance floor here, and you see these folks having a great time. Hey, what? Yeah, yeah, we're having a great time. Okay, well, the fun's here, but there's also fun across the hall because there are two big, beautiful wedding chapels here at Treasure Island, and they have been bustling with activity all evening. You are looking at newlyweds Brett and Stacy Mays, who traveled all the way from Texas to get married here at Treasure Island, and it looks like they brought along lots of family and friends to help them celebrate. As the wedding capital of the world, Las Vegas weddings number more than 100,000 each year. And along with Valentine's Day, New Year's Eve is one of the busiest times, and the wedding chapels will stay open until 3 a.m. Maybe when we sing Old Lang Syne later on tonight, some of these couples will want to renew their vows. In the meantime, the party continues out here, Jack. Okay, thank you very much, Ricky. Folks, the pace here is accelerating. Don't you dare move. Synchronize your clocks and watches, America. The countdown is coming on New Year's Live. This is part of the great New Year's crowd gathered here outside the Treasure Island Hotel. No more can fit inside. That's jammed. And there are 1,500 especially lucky folks 
who are, I imagine, at this very moment being mesmerized by the enchanting New Year's Eve performance of Cirque du Soleil. One of the people there is our good friend Emerald. Yay, Emerald. And Jack, mesmerized is the word as the audience continues to enjoy this dazzling and dreamy show called Mystère. You know, when you watch Cirque du Soleil, you're constantly asking yourself, how do they do that? Well, here's a perfect example. Watch this amazing pole climbing act. That's the magical Cirque du Soleil. And I've just been listening to our director, Carolyn Garma, and some of the other folks, and I can tell you people, the pace is definitely accelerating. Our spectacular countdown production enters the final phase of preparation. Here is Sarah, as she is arriving at the Grand Ballroom over at the Mirage. She'll be joining Sherry Belafonte and all the guests there. We'll be checking in with them at that elegant New Year's party. A glamorous group. And she, as glamorous as any, here they are, the pyrotechnic crews in the final stage of loading the explosive charges into the cannon on board the ships here in Buccaneer Bay. Those cannon will fire the blast that marked the final 10 seconds of 1994. Out on the Las Vegas Strip, look at that from our crane cam. What a scene. There was traffic six lanes here a few moments ago. Now, hundreds of thousands of revelers. It is all about to happen right here on New Year's Live. We are high atop the world-famous Las Vegas Strip where a record-setting crowd of a quarter of a million people is here from all over the United States and around the world to be a part of a spectacular New Year's celebration. We're right here in Seattle, and there are millions of people who are going to see the largest pyrotechnic display the city has ever seen. 1,500 charges are going to go off the Space Needle, and you'll see it live. Hey, you want to come to the biggest black in San Francisco has ever had? 14,000 people, eight city blocks, and it's all part of New Year's Live! Howdy, everybody. We've got them wall to wall, cowboys and cowgirls, and old style fun live in Reno right here. It's the Bucking Ball Rodeo and Dance, the Smoking Armadillos, and the Gibson Miller Band. They're doing it! All right, we're standing outside of BB King's Club at, at City Walk here. We're going to be bringing you Papa Chubby Band in a second. I also now. hear Cheryl Crow, Counting Crows, Black Crows, and the soundtrack and movie The Crow. They're all going to be here. Don't go away. I heard from an inside source. And we are standing by live in countdown control to call the thriller second pulse racing final moments of 1994 as we get set for America's most thrilling countdown spectacular. Tonight, live by satellite, the brilliant sky shows, enchanting performances, dazzling entertainment, and all the best on this magical night as Tots celebrates New Year's live. Now, from Treasure Island, in the heart of all the action on the fabulous Las Vegas Strip, here is Jack Perkins. 
Welcome, welcome everyone, and we are so glad you have joined us on New Year's Live. This is that night that we all become time travelers, if you will, embarking on that wonderful voyage from now until 1995. It is a trip that I guarantee you will include what will be one of the most spectacular countdowns to midnight you have ever witnessed. We will have a variety of celebrations all over the West. We will have three pyrotechnic shows, count them three, lighting up the sky. We'll have the Goodyear blimp, great entertainment, and about a half million revelers at our various New Year's Live sites. But let's begin by joining my co-host, Sarah Purcell, who is just up the strip at the Grand Ballroom of the Mirage Hotel. Sarah. Hi, Jack. How do you like this? This is a beautiful mask. This, the title of this grand affair is Premier, and it's a fitting title because not only has the Mirage been the premier attraction in this town since it opened five years ago, it's also fitting because, after all, tonight is the premiere of a new year. And right now, at the Theater Mirage, the special New Year's Eve performance of Siegfried and Roy's spellbinding spectacle is in progress. Okay? And that show has drawn sellout audiences totaling two million since it opened. One of the most memorable show trademarks is, of course, the array of exotic animals that appear in their illusions. Now, I'll be joining Siegfried and Roy on stage right after midnight to meet their family of incredible white tigers. Up close, not too close. Now, let's check on the last-minute preparations for a spectacular sky show in Seattle where we have Ross Schaefer. Ross? Oh, Sarah, it is, it is really going to be spectacular, and we are here at the Cellular One, Times Square of the West. I have my able-bodied assistant to tell you about this pyrotechnic show. This is Crystal Nelson and her, uh, her very enthused brother. <laughs> That's Wesley. What will happen to the Space Needle is that there will be charges all along this shaft. The elevators will spray sparks and charges firing 200 feet out this direction as it travels up to the party, which is going on up here. The people at this revolving restaurant will see the showers coming off the top of the Space Needle falling down around them and with any luck, it will heat up the hors d'oeuvres. All right, we are going to uh, keep you posted throughout the night. Now to Emerald Yay in Las Vegas. And Ross, we know about high places here at the Cirque du Soleil, the Mysterious Show, which is permanently based at the Treasure Island's, uh, uh, Treasure Island's uh, special theater that was specifically designed for the Cirque du Soleil. It's a theater that they have transformed into a dreamscape and audiences always walk away from here saying they've never seen anything like it because it is always full of surprises. Now like many circuses, Cirque du Soleil does have some identifiable traditions and one of those traditions is its delightfully bizarre clowns and there's a wild character in this show. His name is Benny Legrand and as you can see he goes out there and he mixes it up with the audience and when he does that things definitely get out of hand. He's sort of like a, a one-man Marx Brothers, and the audience just loves it. And uh, I have a feeling that he'll be popping up again later tonight. They may love him, but uh, don't invite him to dinner. And now we're going to uh, Buck and uh, Rodeo uh, with Bob Tolman. Ricky, thank you. Thanks, Rick. I've got about five or 6,000 rodeo fans in here tonight. This is an old-fashioned Western fun rodeo, and I guarantee you they've come from all over the Western United States. Cowboys have come from international. My good friend Bob Feist and partner rodeo announcer is about to let them out of here. I'm not sure. Man, look at the way these guys are dressed. Hey, uh, are you guys here to rob a bank, or uh, what's the deal? I, look at this. Uh, six of them. I know they're not Paul Bears. Come here, cowboy. Who is this group? I'm Josh Graham. And we're the Smoking Armadillos. We just really? Came... Yeah, we. These just... Smoking Armadillos from Curb Records? Yes, these Smoking Armadillos. We just came here tonight to rock in the New Year here at the Buck and Ball from Reno, Nevada. Well, then go to work, will you? That's the way it is. They're going to the stage right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bob. And folks, I hope you realize Bob is about the greatest rodeo caller in this country. We're delighted to have him with us tonight. Now, if we may, we'd like to switch you inside into what is going to become the heart of all the action when our countdown begins in just a little while. And join up with sportscaster Jim Hill. All right, Jack, thank you very much. Now, this is Treasure Island's race and sports book, where tonight it becomes Countdown Control, the nerve center of our thrilling e-ticket ride to the magical midnight moment. That video wall behind me is displaying the live by satellite images from all, and I mean all, of our New Year's Live celebration locations. Now, 
at precisely three minutes to midnight. Thank you very much. I paid him to do that. The giant gong on the stage of Cirque du Soleil will be struck, launching the countdown with their tremendous taiko drum roll, which in turn kicks off an avalanche of synchronized events. And I mean, they're really great. Listen to this. The fuse lighting at the gigantic pyrotechnic displays, the final ascent of the Space Needle elevator, and the sail in of a ship to deliver the final 10-second cannon blast. I'll be calling all the countdown action play-by-play. -play. As you can see, I'm pumped up, ready to go. You can put me right on in there. New Year's Live is brought to you by Tots, rated the best California champagne under $9. Also brought to you in part by Chevrolet. Chevrolet trucks, the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. And by Ocean Spray, a different kind of juice drink that's not too sweet. Crave the wave. Sarah Purcell and Jack Perkins will be back with more New Year's Live after this word from Tots. This is New Year's Live, broadcasting America's only grand-scale countdown spectacular. Now let's go out to the strip for the view of developments out there, and Doug McConnell high up over the strip with the crane camera. That's right, I'm high above the Las Vegas Strip tonight. We have got a stunning view of America's Main Street on New Year's Eve. Let's take a look at this thing out here. It is jam-packed with people. Tens of thousands, we're expecting a quarter of a million people here by midnight. They are pouring out of the hotels, the giant hotels that line the strip. No traffic, just people. And as midnight approaches, all of those eyes are gonna be riveted over there on that countdown clock, that giant electronic marquee. Now down to 1910 as we count away to midnight. And as those seconds tick away, close to midnight. And down below us here in Buccaneer Bay, as the ships explode their final volleys. And as a midnight pyrotechnic Surprise fills the skies out here. This place, this crowd will go completely wild. We're gonna be holding onto the crane up here, Bobby and I, hold on to your couches at home. It's getting very, very exciting out here. New Year's is almost upon us. And Jack, you're over there, I can see you. You can hear the sounds from where you are. Oh, we can, we can hear it, we can taste it, we can feel it, you bet you, Doug. And as you saw on that big sign out in front of Treasure Island, only about 18 minutes left, so let us take you back for a moment across a few time zones and a few hours to show you how New Year's has already arrived at other parts of our country. First of all, in New York. New York, oh, the Big Apple. It was rainy in New York, but the ball fell in Times Square and thousands and thousands, as always, cheered the arrival of the New Year. In Philadelphia, there was a celebration enjoyed by a crowd, we are told, of about 150,000 lining the banks on both sides of the Delaware River. Fireworks lighting up the skyline of that beautiful city. Not to be outdone by the Big Apple, Atlanta celebrated by dropping the Big Peach in that area called Underground Atlanta. A crowd of about 200,000 enjoying a champagne celebration. Then an hour later in the central time zone, New Orleans, where the Mississippi Riverboats blew their whistles and the bells of St. Louis Cathedral welcomed the new year. And Sugar Bowl revelers celebrated in historic Jackson Square. Denver, oh, it was cold in Denver, three degrees. And all around the renewed lower downtown district, they watched the New Year's fireworks over their historic Union Station and they were glad for whatever warmth they could get. Now it is our turn. We're ready to celebrate New Year's all across the West. Back again live at Buccaneer Bay, but we're gonna hop right out from here again to Los Angeles, to B.B. King's Blues Club and Howie Gold. We're starting to edge toward midnight here. A lot of people starting to push me to go on stage. I'm happy with my place in blues history, but when you think you're at BB King's Club, let me tell you something, you're not. You know who you are, folks? You're at the Love Boat. Here we are. I'm here with Isaac at the Love Boat. 
never, never party like this on a love boat? No, no, never. That's why I'm here tonight, because I'm partying with KCAL. I'm bringing in 95 the right way. You have a good 94? Huh? Yeah, I have a good 94, and I don't have to serve any drinks tonight, so I'm very happy. Very happy. Hey, well, let me tell you something. You're a big blues fan. Are you familiar with my work? Okay, thanks very much. Jack, now, we've got Jack, a lot more. It's me, Benny from Search Slay. Yeah, Benny, How are you doing? I, what Benny, are you doing? Benny, we're on the air here. Great. I love it. Have you got a job for me? For, job for you yeah, yeah, on yeah, our yeah, show? Yeah. Anything. No, we don't Time have a job. I'll even go for a cat. Benny, Benny, I've seen you in Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. You almost ruined that show. I can do it here, too. Really? Yeah, I bet give you me a can, chance, but you're not no, going no, to. Come, come no. on, think about we, it. Come on, give me a chance. Steve, One Steve, 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 would you please? I, Benny, we don't have anything for you in You've this show. You've got to have something. Have it's a script. Them. It's a script. There's always something in there. Have anything for you. Oh, you're right. There's, There's nothing. nothing. Oh, What's this? This? Now, this is the mallet that I have to take back over to Cirque du Soleil. This is the mallet that has to ring the gong at exactly three minutes before midnight to start our big countdown. I can do it. No, no, you no, know, no. It's easy. This has really? No, no, no been everything. I can do it. I can handle it. Three minutes, right? Three, three minutes. minutes. Get there. No, no, you three, can't take it. I can do it. Don't worry, Jack. Steve, there goes our countdown. The excitement is reaching a peak on the Las Vegas Strip and at all of our New Year's live locations. Stay with us for the most thrilling minutes of the year coming up. I can't believe that they actually gave me the job. Oh, there it is. Like, is this a taxi lineup or anything? Excuse me. I, shut up. But taxi, limo, and it just stop stopping. I got a job doing the dog, thank you. How does it start? All right, okay. That looked like me trying to get over here to the Grand Ballroom. But I have to tell you, this is a glittering international group here. And I want to take you over to this table here. We have Mr. and Mrs. Chidem from Mexico City and a table full of people from Brazil and Mexico represented. We want to wish you a happy new year. Feliz Año Nuevo. Feliz Año Nuevo. And now up to Terry McGovern up in San Francisco. Are you ready for the countdown, Terry? Yeah, Sarah, I hear you fine. How are you this evening? Happy New Year. Great to hear from everybody. And I got to ask you something. Are you a Doobie Brothers fan? Well, if you are a Doobie Brothers fan, then this is the place you should be, either here in person at the Embargadero Center in San Francisco or watching it on television on New Year's Live because the guys are coming out at midnight, that's right. And while we're rocking and rolling here, they are skating and having a nice time at the Dorothy Hamill Ice Skating Pavilion. It's all a part of San Francisco New Year's Live. And now Ross Schaefer in Seattle. Ross. Hey, thanks a lot, Terry. You know, you're looking right now at a beautiful aerial shot of the Space Needle. And behind me, thousands and thousands of people are watching the band getting ready now for the big countdown. Now, there was some concern that if these blasts go off the Space Needle, will it shake? No. It is earthquake proof. There are bolts this big, 72 of them that go 32 inches into the ground holding the Space Needle up. Now, we had an earthquake in 1965, a big one, about almost a 7.0. Frosty Fowler, a DJ, was playing a Connie Francis record at the time. It even did not skip. It did not skip much to the disappointment of those listening. Just kidding. All right, we'll see you in uh, just a moment with our pyrotechnic show. Now we're going to go to Las Vegas with Ricky T. All right, we're back here at Carnival, and the party continues. And look at these folks. They're from all over the world. In fact, you're from? Amsterdam, Holland. Amsterdam, Holland. I'm not sure if this is being carried live there. However, a lot of folks are here from Los Angeles area where it's being carried live. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Woohoo! A lot of our party goers are from the Southern California area where we're carrying on KCAL and we're having a grand old time here at Carnival in the Treasure Island Ballroom. The party continues. We've got the Chuck Wansley band going on behind us and it is fantastic. Back to you, Jack. Thank you, Ricky. Just a little over nine and a half minutes left until the new year. Our climactic countdown is supposed to begin when that gong is struck over at Cirque du Soleil. If Benny gets there in time. Out of my way, get out of my way. I'm the gong guy, get out of my way. Look out, I'm coming through here, get away. Oh, for Pete's sake, get out of my way, I gotta find the gong. Oh, oh, oh. Oh.
countdown clocks are synchronized and locked in. We are just minutes away from setting off the most spectacular countdown in the nation. Stay with us. What do you do? You know nothing about the concept of dogs. Get back. What are you doing? Get back. Oh boy. Well, aside from that, I think our final preparations are all set in all our locations now. Fireworks, confetti cannon, and ship's cannon are loaded. Balloons and the Goodyear blimp are inflated. We're just about ready. Let's take a final whip around. First to Sarah at the Mirage. Thank you, Jack, here in the Grand Ballroom. Sherry Belafonte just finished a fabulous song, got the crowd dancing, and now I'm going to take you up to Seattle with Ross Schaefer. Oh, Ross? thank you very much, Sarah. You know, we are getting ready. We are getting ready now to uh, get ready. Are we on? Looks like we're on there. I have to tell you, we're getting very ready now. You know, the sparks are going to fly off the Space Needle 200 feet in all directions, and I just realized our broadcast tower is 100 feet. So. We will stand by Terry McGovern in San Francisco. Hey, Ross, thanks a million. Yeah, listen, that clock back there, the ferry building clock people have been bringing in the new year here in San Francisco since before the 1906 earthquake. And we're getting ready to bring in 1995 on New Year's Live. Take it away, Reno, Nevada, for New Year's Live. This is the wildest thing I've ever done in my life, and I'm talking about a wild ride in a stagecoach. We're in Reno, Nevada. I think we're live. I've got beautiful ladies right here, the Modoc County princesses and queens. Rondo Monahan. I can't go with these girls for the night. They're not my, here's my date, Donnie Landis. That's the way it is. We're out of here to the bucket ball. And now we're here at Carnival. And we've got a whole bunch of conga lines going. One in the front, one in the back. Excuse me here if I break this line a little bit. The countdown is crazy here. We are going to conga our way into the new year at Carnival. Woo! Oh, okay. It appears to be a right knee contusion. It's nothing serious. The bass player was shaken up in the last song. The doctors are telling me he should be okay for the second set. We're edging toward midnight now. A lot of prominent LA people. I just saw Sam Adams by the bar. He's drunk. We're gonna go to Doug McConnell now. I tell you, I've never seen anything like this in my life. I've lost count. We're expecting a quarter of a million people. Take a look to the south of us. South of us, as far as the eye can see, uh, past the hotels, past the casinos, the Las Vegas Strip is jammed, packed with people. This place is absolutely going wild. Jack, you must be able to feel the energy over there too. Oh man, it is wild, Doug. Thank you. This is the moment we've been waiting for. The second by second race with the clock to that magic midnight moment. And here it comes, folks. Here comes the Britannia, first of all, sailing in to deliver the cannon shots to mark the final 10 seconds of 1995. Fasten your seatbelts, everybody. Jim Hill, you got it. All right, Jack, thank you very much. Time to boogie. Here we go. Final countdown. The power technicians ready to light up the fuses. The peak of foot. We're going to start with Cirque du Soleil. Let's go right. Take it away, Cirque du Soleil. All right. All right, there's Seattle as a drumbeat marks the elapsing seconds on a countdown. The crowd there anticipating the first view of that elevator to begin to rise, signaling the final moment of 1994. And we come back down to the Las Vegas Strip. And I want you to just look at the crowd. They're starting to pick up the chant, joining the countdown along with us, the final minutes and seconds of the year. 2.15 to go. And now we go back up to the Bay Area in San Francisco, California. All eyes are turning into the giant hands on the historic ferry building clock, moving closer and closer to the midnight moment, coming up on two minutes and four. Three, two, two minutes and one, two minutes and counting. And there's the shot in Reno, right, riding the arch right there, ready to rise it up and above the thousands at the bucking ball as we keep on counting on down. 
We come on down and here's the Britannia sailing in. A cheer goes up from the crowd, the lights flashing. What a sight for the thousands here at Las Vegas at Treasure Island. And above us all at 142 to go, above us all soaring up there, the Goodyear blimp standing by to receive the signal to begin the final minute countdown for us. And there's the cast on stage, Siegfried and Roy, Theater Mirage, where the capacity crowd is watching the big screen and waiting to count down with you and I. Grand Ballroom, elegant guests on their feet, getting ready to toast the new year. The orchestra standing by to strike up Old Lang Syne. And we go back up to Buck and Ball, the cowboys up there, the cowgirls, even the horses, all watching as Reno's arch is rising higher and higher above the arena. And there it goes. We're getting ready. It goes right there. It started. There goes the elevator climbing the Space Needle in Seattle. And when it reaches the top, it'll be 1995 coming up on one minute and one. One minute from right now. There she goes. 58, 57, 56, 55. Back on the Las Vegas Strip. They're starting to set off the pyrotechnics. Look at that. The comet's rising higher and higher. Coming in closer and closer. And we near the dramatic moment. The crowd, hundreds of thousands going wild. Burst after burst lighting up the sky. What a sight. The brilliant soaring comets reflected in the waters of Buccaneer Bay. We're on board those two ships. They're lighting the cannon fuses to blast the final seconds off. Then we get to 35 seconds. 34, 33, 32, 31, 30. We're on the final stretch. Here comes the Britannia sailing in. The crew is ready in firing position. Seconds away from the first cannon explosion. Hold on, everybody. And there's the elevator reaching for the summit, reaching for 1995. Get ready. Here come the cannons. 16, 15. And there's the tremendous throng of Las Vegas Strip right there. I hope you can hear them above the roar of my crowd. Here it is. Let's go, everybody. All together now. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. You know, I have been watching all of this and thinking there are so many things we might wish as we enter onto a new year. We might wish for a new job or a new car or a winning lottery ticket, but we don't. Somehow, midnight on December 31st seems to make us a little smarter. 
And we realize those things don't count. And so we wish each other what really does. Happiness. Happy New Year. And of course, there's a very special sense about this New Year, isn't there? 1995, my gracious, from here, you can almost reach out and touch the millennium. Five years until the year two, only five years until the year 2000. That's 1,826 days. What a journey it's gonna be between here and there. And I hope you will join us each year on New Year's Live to mark the milestones along the way. Call it our countdown to the year 2000. But hey, in the meanwhile, we've still got more partying to do right here. Our party's just getting going. And coming up, we've got great entertainment and maybe a few more surprises to start your new year. Things will really heat up here at Treasure Island as our swashbuckling pirates perform in the explosive battle of the ships. Plus, speaking of heating up, some hot music is happening at B.B. King's Blues Club in L.A. And they're partying in the streets of San Francisco all along the waterfront tonight. And Sarah Purcell will go on stage at the Theater Mirage to meet superstars Siegfried and Roy and their wonderful white tigers that we look forward to seeing each year. Lots more coming up. Stay with us for all the fun. Join us as Tots celebrates New Year's Live. Every year by this time I ask you to indulge me, would you please? I love to see it again. An almost instant replay of that midnight magical moment as we all greeted 1995. <laughs> Right there, it started. There goes the elevator climb of the Space Needle in Seattle. And when it reaches the top, it'll be 1995 coming up on one minute and one. One minute from right now. There she goes. 58, 57, 56, 55. Back on the Las Vegas Strip. They're starting to set off the pyrotechnics. Look at that. The comet's rising higher and higher, coming in closer and closer. And we near the dramatic moment. The crowd, hundreds of thousands going wild. Burst after burst lighting up the sky. What a sight. The brilliant soaring comets reflected in the waters of Buccaneer Bay. We're on board those two ships. They're lighting the cannon fuses to blast the final seconds off. Then we get to 35 seconds, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30. We're on the final stretch. Here comes the Britannia sailing in. The crew is ready in firing position. Seconds away from the first cannon explosion. Hold on, everybody. And there's the elevator reaching for the summit, reaching for 1995. Get ready. Here come the cannons. 15, 16, 15. And there's the tremendous throng of Las Vegas strip right there. I hope we can hear them above the roar of my crowd. Here it is. Let's go, everybody. All together now. Seven, six, five. And we're back live now at Buccaneer Bay outside Treasure Island. But I gotta tell you, I need another fix of that crazy man down in Los Angeles. Howie Gold!
just never known any big ones. Well, we are here with Siegfried and Freud, and I gotta tell you, this is Kashmir, a beautiful two-year-old white tiger, and is she fabulous. Now, as this town's best-known ambassadors, I have to tell you, you must feel wonderful about this well, year. Uh, Sarah, I'm very grateful to this magic, the city of Las Vegas. When my dreams came true, I'd be able to put in my dreams on stage and share it with people from all over the world. <laughs> and the, boy, they love it, I'm telling you. Yes. Um, how many white tigers do and you she have? Loves it too, right? Well, actually, on stage with us, we will have 28 white tigers. And 28 most, on yeah, stage? That's right. And most of the time, they steal the spotlight on us. But we don't mind because this gives us a chance to share and also share with our audience what it is all about, why we have to be with nature and finding our roots again and save the species from extinction. Absolutely. You know, I've seen the show a couple of times over the past few years and I, I'm always amazed at your show. What is your secret? Well, the, <laughs> the secret is, we, we say, look for the magic around you in nature, plants, flowers and all the animals who we share this planet. But look for it and let it enlighten your heart and your life. Do you have any That's New right. Year's resolutions? Oh, right? yes, ab yeah? absolutely. You see, Siegfried and I, since 13 years, preserving and protect the white tiger for totally extinction. Today, in 1995, my goal is to take the task that was installed and trusted into me to save the white lions of Timbawati. Oh, my goodness. How many of them are left? Well, I will tell you everything very soon, and you also will see soon. Okay. Something very, very special. And together, it is our goal, Zifri and mine, to share it with the rest of the world and show that we Americans doing things right. <laughs> oh, I think Kashmir oh. likes me. I just got a little <laughs> lick. <laughs> well, thank you both so thank very you. much. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year to Happy both of you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. New Year. And Goodbye. now we're going to go to Ricky at Carnival. <laughs> Oh, the party is still continuing here. Folks are still dancing, even though a lot of them have decided to call it quits and go to sleep for this new year, 1995. One of the revelers who's here with me now is from Southern California, Robert Ornelas, who's from Santa Ana. What would you like to say to a lot of the kids you work with out there? Well, I'd like to say, uh, first of all, Happy New Year to all the boys and girls of Santa Ana Unified. And I'd also like to say that uh, while most people like to go to Disneyland, I enjoy coming here to Treasure Island after the ball game and having a great time here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Great, thank you very much. Carnival has been tremendous this year. We had the Brazilian beat for 1995. For all of us here at Carnival and Treasure Island, you had a great time here tonight. Happy 1995. Back to you. Okay, thank you very much now. We're out here outside the Treasure Island Hotel and it has been a it has been an amazing evening. We were here last year, but I got to tell you the crowds were so much heavier this year, so much more exuberant also, I think. We'd like to offer you a special treat now, something that happens right here in this bay five times a day and night. It's one of the most popular attractions this glitzy strip has ever produced. A wonderful troupe of stunt men and stunt women puts it on here. A, a battle between a pirate ship and a British man of war. Let's give you a free sample of this wonderful show. How do you like 1995 so far? We're gonna take a final check around at each of our New Year's Live locations, thanking the people as we go for a wonderful job. First, Seattle and Ross Schaefer. Oh, Jack, as you, as you can probably tell, you the Space Needle just lit up like a Christmas tree. No casualties at all. I can tell from my viewing station it was going perfectly, and we have a diehard crowd who will stay here all night. Let's go to Terry McGovern in the Bay Area, San Francisco. It's been a great party. I hope you've had a good time with us.
Vegas. We have been coming to you live from the Barcadero Center. It's been the big disco beat from the big block party in San Francisco. And I hope it's been a great New Year's live for you. Say good night, everybody. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> this is the way it's been in Reno, Nevada. It's not just a great place to come from, it's a great place to go to. From the Bucking Ball, I'm Bob Tolman. All I want to do is say God bless to everyone and a Happy New Year from Reno. I'm Morty, I'm good. All right, we're saying good night here. Good night, everybody. Say good night to this immense crowd on the Las Vegas Strip. It has been a wonderful evening for all of us out here. The warmth of the crowd, cutting the chill night air. If the rest of 1995 can be as joyous as it's beginning, we have got a great new year ahead of us. A good night from all of us and a happy new year. Happy new year. And now we're going to show you a scene that a lot of us will never, ever forget. It was the implosion seen around the world when a piece of Las Vegas history was blown up to make room for the newest and most extraordinary wonder of Las Vegas. And here is the wonder maker, the chairman of the board of Mirage Resorts, and the man who's changed the face of Las Vegas, turning it into the world's most popular destination. Yes, that's you, Steve Wynn. <laughs> Steve Wynn and his lovely wife, Elaine. Welcome and Happy New Year. Sarah. Sarah. Happy New Year, Sarah. That must have been so amazing. Did they show the implosion? Yeah. Yeah, they did, did, huh? Yeah. Bye bye dunes. Bye bye dunes and yeah. hello Beau Rivage. That's the Beau newest Rivage. project. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, it seems like America has been buying whatever Las Vegas has been selling here for about 60 years. And we've had big hotels, we've had exciting hotels, we've had colorful hotels. What we're going to try and do is build the most romantic hotel mm -hmm. that has ever been. Now that's a very challenging kind of thing to do. Yes. But we're gonna make it the kind of a place where people go not only to have fun, but where they think of going to fall in love. Wow. That seems a, like a good idea, doesn't that's it? That's a lovely order, yes. Let's see if we can do it. I think you can. Well, I think we'll there's try. no question you can. We sure got a nice piece of property. There's gonna be a lot of water involved, as I understand. There's gonna be water and there's gonna be some very extraordinary things in the area of live entertainment. We, we were, as a company, we sort of think the future has to do with the performing arts. Uh -huh. More than a, a theme park or, or some other thing. We've done a lot of that sort of thing along with some of our competitors. But we're going in the area of performing arts and romance. We're going to use the water and the wonderful piece of property. It's very large, right in the middle of the strip, to establish I can't an environment. Wait. I can't wait. And it's yeah. going to open when? In late 97. Late 97. Well, I hope we're going to be here to see it. I'm sure you will, Sarah. <laughs> if we got anything to say about it, we'll all be together Thank again. you so much. And sure. thank you, Siegfried, thank for you. making this magical <laughs> evening possible, too. Uh, and all right. Thank you for, well, for sharing Happy New Year, Happy New Year. everybody. Thank you, Roy. And some OD. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> all right. Let Jack, it be a great back to you. Thank you very much. And Jim Hill has joined me. And we say thank you to him and Mary. Christmas? Happy no, New Year. The, it's a Happy New Year. All of it. Wow, that's what a party. That's what it is. Thank you very much, everybody. We hope to see you next year on New Year's Live. Good night. Good night. New Year's Live is brought to you by Tots, rated the best California champagne under $9. Also brought to you in part by Ocean Spray, a different kind of juice drink that's not too sweet. Crave the wave. And by Chevrolet, the cars and trucks 36 million people depend on every day, genuine Chevrolet. Promotional consideration furnished by Apple Computer Incorporated, makers of the PowerBook. Hewlett Packard laser jet printers, you do your job, we'll do ours. Communications provided by Motorola National Riddle, 800-248-3450. Two-way communication service provided by Crescent Communications Las Vegas. Limp Eagle provided by Goodyear, maker of Goodyear tires and Aquatrad.